In honor of Black Hole Week, we have decided to celebrate black holes and delve into what makes these phenomena so intriguing and special. A black hole is essentially a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. For this to happen, matter must be compressed into incredibly high densities, and to turn the whole Earth into a black hole, you would have to squeeze it into the size of a marble. In this animation, we can see a black hole ripping a star apart, dragging its matter in a spiraling disk before finally sucking it in. This accretion disk can get very hot and bright, but particles escape in just moments before they are captured, and are blown far out into space into a narrow stream. When this happens around supermassive black holes, these bright jets of energy and matter can affect the entire galaxy surrounding them. Black holes form when the centre of a very massive star collapses in upon itself. This collapse also causes a supernova, or an exploding star, that blasts part of the star into space. At the centre of galaxies there are black holes that are millions and sometimes billions times more massive, called supermassive black holes. The idea of black holes came shortly after Newton's theory of gravity. Between 1783 and 1796, John Mitchell and Pierre Simon Laplace independently reasoned that lights made of small particles would not escape from very massive stars, which they called dark stars. Shortly after Albert Einstein published his theory of general relativity, Carl Schwarzschild used his theory to predict the formation of black holes. He did this in just two months while sitting in the trenches of the Russian front in 1916. Einstein wasn't convinced about this however, and in 1936 wrote a paper stating that black holes cannot form. In 1939, Oppenheimer and Snyder replied that this could happen, but under very special conditions. By World War II, scientists regarded black holes as mere theoretical oddities. In 1960, technological advances allowed astronomers to obtain the first maps of radio and X-ray emission from space. This led to the discovery of distant quasars in 1962, and of nearby X-ray binaries in 1965, which implied the existence of supermassive and stellar mass black holes. Intrigued by these results, in 1965 Roger Penrose finally concludes that the formation of black holes is inevitable once matter gets sufficiently compressed for gravity to take over. This spurred on the hunt for black holes and in 1974 a compact radio source is finally discovered at the centre of the Milky Way, suggesting the presence of a monstrous black hole there. It took 30 years to prove this however when in 2000 independent teams led by Andrea Gaze and Reinhard Genzel finally confirmed this source to be powered by a supermassive black hole, ruling out all other possibilities. This led to the award of a Nobel Prize in 2021 together with Roger Penrose. Finally in 2019 astronomers obtained the first official picture of a black hole, or better yet the hot gas spiral inside it. While it may not be the best of pictures, this image was captured combining radio telescopes from all over the world and was a groundbreaking achievement for the scientific community. So what's next? Currently we know that there are billions and billions of black holes in the universe and by continuing to study these phenomena, we may be able to solve some of the universe's most complex mysteries. Yes, although it sounds like a load of bologna, spaghettification is a real thing and if you're unfortunate enough to be sucked into a black hole, you'll most likely die due to this rare phenomenon, where your body will move through space-time like two paces through a tube until eventually your atoms are torn apart and if I could pick a way to go, that would probably be it. 